channel if you're new to my channel my name is olivia and i focus on travel holistic wellness and eco-conscious living and currently studying to be a health coach so i am here today because i am moving so currently i'm in brooklyn new york and we are moving to East Village! So in my previous vlog, you guys will definitely see that I was kind of bashing living in Manhattan. But I ended up finding a apartment in East Village and uh, honestly, East Village is kind of a dream. It's the perfect location and it's, I think it's about 12 minutes on the train to get to Williamsburg, to get to Bushwick. Um, it's super close to Washington Square Park, to Soho, to Chinatown, to the Upper East Side, to Midtown. Really the perfect, perfect area. I actually haven't seen the apartment yet because I was working when uh, Chico and his brother went to go visit, uh, see, go view the apartment, but I saw videos and uh, yeah, we really like it. It's similar to this place but we actually will have our own rooms and I might be a little smaller I'm not really sure but we get to live in East Village and we have private access to a roof so I am just really excited and I'm excited for the neighborhood and we are close to Tompkins Park just like a new little chapter in our life in New York. Today, I have to do a little apartment tour. So if you're new to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel for all future New York living, small space living, <laughs> eco-conscious living uh, tips and vlogs. Um, I plan to vlog this entire moving process. So we'll actually be moving out this weekend, but I wanted to make sure I get an apartment tour before we leave because this is one of my favorite apartments I've lived in. Yeah, it's like the first home in New York so uh, I really want to remember this place maybe the differences between living in Brooklyn and Manhattan so make sure to subscribe um, and if you guys would like to follow me on like kind of my day-to-day -day life you can follow me at via live on Instagram I'm on there the most really hope you guys like this video since this apartment was an Airbnb before we rented it out I wanted to show a few videos on what it looked like before Right when you walk in, you're going to see my kitchen. I really love this kitchen because it has the open shelving um, and I just find it really, really beautiful. This kitchen actually has not a lot of storage space. Um, it really has one cabinet and then a cabinet underneath the sink. So we really had to kind of play around with how we can store certain things. So I really liked having the idea of mason jars and kind of like a color scheme um, along it so it doesn't look too crazy. Um, I like kind of sticking to more of the glass and whites, a little bit of color here and there, but I really like to have some pretty neutral. My favorite part about this kitchen has to be the huge sink. We are not gonna have this big of a sink at the next place, but something that I would love in a future house that I own or you know another apartment big big like farm style I think it's called a farm style sink um, so I really love this sink it has to be the highlight um, and obviously the floating shelves but I do have a dishwasher which I mean not a lot of people in New York have dishwashers um, I think it's starting to be more common now but the next dishwasher that we have I think is like half this size only treat to have a dishwasher in New York. Something else that I love about this kitchen is my little drink station. I make a ton of lattes at home. This has been the best purchased, um, best gift that I've ever received, honestly. It saves me so much money. Um, and I honestly feel like I make coffee better or I like the taste of my coffee better. Going out for coffee is a treat um, rather than, you know, kind of not appreciating it as much. So I like to make sure, you know, I really appreciate when I go out and grab a coffee and I don't have to make it and someone else does it for me. But I also love how I can make it at home, make it just as good, get my favorite espresso and, um, make a pretty good latte so and my Vitamix this baby I've had for like over five years now I got it as a birthday gift from Chico my boyfriend and it has served us so well it's kind of cracked now and stained but I'm gonna hopefully put it out in the sun and supposedly that's supposed to help with coloring um, but we have used this for daily bulletproof coffee Chico makes um, we use it for pureeing for making soups for hummus for smoothies for literally everything um it is my baby right now obviously we're trying to not have a lot of food 
So this is my little fruit stand. We kind of had to like, you know, uh, figure out a way to save space. I mean, a lot of fruit baskets are really small and I eat a lot of produce. So I needed to make sure I had something enough to put all the fruit and veg that I eat because like I said, I eat a ton. Something else about this kitchen, you can see I have all of my peas and spices up here my probiotics, my supplements, my elixirs, and I love the jars and with the little punch label maker. I just think it's so beautiful and looks so classic and old, I guess. That apothecary uh, feel to it, so I just really like that. And we have all of our teas up on the second shelf, you can see. So all of our teas are up here, um, and then I started to put my, <laughs> this is a funny angle, but I started to put all my baking stuff up there because I didn't have a lot of space for it that we only have cabinet to put to put pots and pans and stuff we don't have any other cabinet space we just have this little thing over here but honestly it looks so pretty to me so the only thing i'm gonna miss about this next place is we have like closing cabinets which it's more storage space but it's gonna be you know uh not as beautiful <laughs> station we have the builder key filter and i'm so happy we purchased this right before quarantine hit otherwise we would have been spending so much money on water bottles and just have not as good a quality um water um so this has been you know a lifesaver for us i do wish we got a little bit of bigger size but we started with the travel size because we thought we were going to be traveling a lot and thought we don't know where we're going to be moving so hey this is a perfect size to carry along um but if you have more than two people i honestly would recommend going up a bit and then we have our little thing that says be water for bruce lee um you just thought it was a cute little drink station here this is what it looks like when you walk in we have this like old this was actually left here but it's an old uh drawer and this is where we keep like our essentials that we use every day keep my hair stuff in there um honestly we don't have a ton of storage so um this has been really helpful and then we have this little stool here and so we just keep our keys there my eye drops are there i have glaucoma so i need to take eye drops every single day so having them there helps me never forget we have our yoga mat cleaner and glasses cleaner This is our living room from one angle. We like to keep it very minimal and cozy. Um, this was actually a couch that was left here. It's a futon and we just decided to put a sheet over it to kind of brighten it up because it's really dark gray. Um, and then add some warmer colors in here because we do have warmer wood. And yeah, I just think it looks really pretty. And we have our beautiful, beautiful plants here we have my kitty uh, gypsy he passed away this past february and we have his little uh cremation there next to uh, my other cat's food because he loved eating so yeah we just thought that would be kind of cool if he was next to his food this piece we actually found from we got these two things from ikea and i really liked how they looked because they can double as stools then we actually found this outside out front Good Batch, great, great bakery here in Clinton Hill. Left it outside because it's shipped a little underneath and you can't even tell. I um, saw it and he was like, oh, I'm gonna go grab that. So he ran downstairs, it was like an early Sunday morning or something, um, and they left this out and it fits honestly perfect on this. I, I don't know how it's like the perfect shape, perfect size, but yeah, it's pretty heavy, <laughs> but it's beautiful and makes it look like a little table. You guys have seen this in some of my styling videos, but this is a wardrobe rack that I use for filming style videos. We got it recently and we didn't know what to do with it while I wasn't using it for that. I just decided to use it as a little yoga stand and we put our yoga mats there and like some of my work essentials underneath and plants on top and a little blanket and we just thought it looks really, really cute. So uh, we will be taking this to the next spot. So this is our little yoga center area um have some plants up there and then a little yoga mat and plants i like to switch out the plants in the windowsill too so that um we only have windows here so i try to give the plants kind of put them on rotation <laughs> so that they get a good amount of sunlight I have a print from mapiful and um this was gifted to me and i chose munich germany because yeah we just got back from europe we went on a trip to london paris and then munich munich blew my mind 
so I just thought I would have a little piece of Munich here and then we also have Paris up on the stairs but just thought Munich was so special is an open shelving system. I want to also show what this apartment looked like when we first got here because it was much different and this entire shelving was filled with books. I just felt like white um, since it's such dark wood on the desk. This desk also is in ours. Um, since it's such dark wood I wanted to add some lighter colors to kind of brighten it up because it is so dark um, and it also blends in really well with the uh, wood so I just decided to add some plants add some white pots and the greenery would kind of open it up a little bit My cat also loves to hang, hang out on top, which I'll show you guys But yeah, I just thought this was like, you know, a cool area that we work on this desk a lot This has been used for many many different things Here is the open shelving area um, We have some of our favorite books and plants and little Bali posters my cat loves hanging out up there. Isn't she so beautiful? Prim! Hi, pretty! She's so pretty. And she loves to look out the window from up there. You can also see her in the mirror here. Really love this bookshelf and love how open it is and how we added the white to kind of brighten it up a little bit. This mirror has also been essential and has been a big part of my Instagram posting through quarantine. I just really love this mirror. This mirror is from Ikea. It's super big. It's like an essential here honestly and it, ha it really helps kind of like um, make the space look a little bit longer. Having a mirror at the end of the wall with uh, the windows there so yeah I just really love how that looks. So we have this old fireplace thing and I just put my cat's bed under there and she's loving it. Um, and then we also have some plants under the stairs to kind of hide her little litter box. But yeah, she really loves hanging out in there. I wish she was there right now. <laughs> thing that I love about this apartment is here we have our closets. Um, mine is the first one and then we have like the utility closet and then we have Chico's closet. The cool thing about it is that it has a ladder up and there is a room up here. and three little storage things up there. So let me take you guys up. I'm not sure where the light is in here, but this is another room. And yeah, it's literally up here. It's pretty cool. And then storage all here. Come with me upstairs and I'll show you my room. kind of really bad here but as you can see this is our little loft room the bed to the back so that we can kind of sleep in the dark um, it really helps get a great night's sleep and especially since we are on the main road we wanted to be away from the street as much as possible so if we move the bed in the front area it would have been a little bit more noisier so this way we can be in the dark it's like nice because we get a pretty good night's sleep and then when we walk out it's bright so this works out pretty pretty well not much to see in this room honestly it's mainly for sleeping and the little area over here this area can work up here if one of us is downstairs and mostly chico works up here because he doesn't need a lot of lighting so he's usually up here and i'm downstairs it's really not that far at all but um it gives us a little bit of separation we have some of our records we have way more uh way more records in Chicago and a poster that's kind of all messed up but yeah this is our our room and then there's just like a little storage in that area and we have our air purifier hey guys so this is my home here in Clinton Hill Brooklyn if you like this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, stay tuned for future moving videos and apartment tour of our new home in the East Village and if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at Via Live, where I uh, share more of my daily life on a regular basis in classic crib style. You don't have to go home, but you got to get the heck out of here. So, bye!